Hey there again, Jacob Perry back with you, founder of Patagonia Bee Products, here for the fifth episode now. Um, again, going to be talking about things related to honey, Patagonia, bees, and today's topic is bee sex. That's right. If you've ever wondered how honeybees have sex, today is the episode to pay attention to. Um, a lot of creatures have really strange and interesting ways of, of doing it, and honeybees are no exception. They have a really unique way of procreating, and uh, I want to talk to you about it today so you can understand how honeybees work a little bit better uh, and all of their intimate details. So uh, I think the coolest part of it is that it starts in the air. Honeybee sex happens in midair when the queen takes flight on her nuptial flight, and uh, male bees, who are the drones, their sole purpose, their sole purpose in life, their existence is premised on mating with the queen. That's it. That's all they do. That's all they really are going to be doing in their entire lives. And once this purpose is served, they're they're pretty much done for. I'll get to that in a minute. But when the queen uh, bee takes off on her flight, what the males do, they take off after her, make a swarm around her, and uh, are trying to mate with her. And when one of them gets brave enough, he jumps in there and inserts his endophallus, his penis, and he ejaculates with such force that the tip of his penis actually ruptures inside the queen. He deposits the sperm, and he falls to the ground and dies shortly after. So if this sounds like a sci-fi movie, <laughs> uh, this is probably where a lot of sci-fi movies and fiction got, its, uh, got, it, got their ideas from. This is how it actually happens with honeybees. And so the males that do get their chance to mate with the queen die afterwards. They, they don't survive this encounter. And the ones that try and don't are going to be kicked out of the hive anyway, um, especially as the fall comes and the winter when the bees are uh, preserving honey, conserving their honey, because they don't see male bees as, a, as an efficient use of their honey. So, uh, ladies out there, if you wish that um, humanity could be more like bees sometimes, kick your males out. <laughs> Get rid of them after, after sex if they're no good. Um, you've got a good example here at Honeybees. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I think this is uh, fascinating. The animal kingdom is, is incredibly diverse and beautiful. And um, you never know what you're going to find when you look below the surface a little bit. So there you are. And if you're wondering what the female bees are doing the whole time, the females are actually the worker bees. They're the ones that are going out and collecting pollen, collecting honey, and doing all that. They're doing all the real work. And the males are just sitting around waiting for sex, quite literally. And when they're done, they die. Um, what an existence, right? So, fellas, check it out. I want you to imagine that we have the same sexual behavior as honeybees, right? So you're just sitting outside your house, hanging out. That's just what you do. That's your job. You don't really have to do any work. And then one day, the queen comes out and takes off on her little nuptial flight. And you're like, get her. You take off after, right? You're going. Well, it'd be more like. So you're taking off after, flying away. You finally catch her, and you get your moment, your moment of glory, what your whole life is predicated on. And this is your chance. And you get in there, and you do your thing, and half of your you know, lower body is now gone, exploded. You've got its gaping wound. You fall to the ground, and you die after your moment of glory. Yeah. Nothing like honeybee sex to make you thankful for not having an exploding penis. Well, that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it with all the visuals. Um, follow us, please, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, we are Patagonia underscore B, that's B-E-E, -E, underscore products, and Facebook, Patagonia B products. We're going to keep doing these things weekly. Hope you get a lot out of them. Please respond to us, you know, um, engage with us. Um, you know, write me, let me know your feedback, let me know what you thought. Other ideas, other information is always welcome. Start the conversation, and we will catch you guys next time. Peace.